My name is Anne Gladys Fishuhi, the founder of Amazing Girl Mentorship Network, and we're here on Women's View going through the A to Z of the Amazing Woman. Today, we are looking at H, and H stands for honor. You are honored. Yes, woman, you are honored. You are amazing, and God made you in an amazing way, and he has honored you. You're probably wondering, how have I been honored? Honored by who? How? Where? Do I even deserve it? And yes, you do. God saw it fit for you to be honored, and he actually provided opportunities for you to receive that honor. I'd like to uh, bring to your attention a story in the Bible about King David and the son of his friend, Jonathan. King David, once he became king, wanted to honor a relative of Jonathan's, and Jonathan was his friend when he was a young man. And he wanted to just bring honor to someone related to Jonathan. So eventually a relative was found and that relative happened to be disabled. His legs were not in good shape, but David still wanted to dine with this person. So he called him, he's called Mephibosheth, and told him to come and dine with him. And he brought him to the table and it was set and it was beautiful and everything was just put in place. Then after that, everybody else was actually allowed now to come and to dine with the king and his special guest. And what I'd like you to see from that is that before everybody else came in, David took the time to prepare the setup for this particular young man whose legs were broken and then he covered them. So when he was seated and everybody else was there, nobody could tell that his legs were broken because David had covered him. And that's the same thing that God wants to do with you. He's calling you to his table to eat with him, to dine with him, and he is going to cover your weaknesses. The Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins, and God is love. So God is inviting you to himself to take a place, to have a share in his love for you, and he will cover you. He will cover you with his goodness, he will cover you with his favor, he will cover you in every single way. And the horrible parts of you or the weak areas of you, he will take care of. He will not expose you indecently to the world. He will not put you up for shame and blame and for everybody else to just see you and make sure that you're looking very bad. No, he will give you an opportunity of honor. He will give you an opportunity to sit at the king's table, to sit and eat and drink with him and enjoy his wonderful company. And nobody else is going to be knowing your brokenness and all those things that are going on on the inside of you. So I'd like to encourage you today, woman. You are honored. You're very, very honored by God. And he has chosen to honor you in so many other ways by giving you the best that he could possibly give you, which is his son, Jesus Christ. So you can choose to receive him because he came all the way from heaven to earth just for you. And even if you were the only person in the entire world, he still would have come to die for you. That's how much he honors you. He doesn't walk away from you because you're just one person. God does not deal with crowds. He gives you as much attention as he would give everybody else in the world, whether you are a million of you or just one single one of you, just right there. So yes, woman, you are honored. The question is, are you going to receive the honor that God has bestowed upon you? Or are you going to keep running away and hiding, hiding your weaknesses, your pain, your shame? Or are you going to come to the person who is actually going to heal you and cover you and present you at the highest table? The choice is yours. But the gift of honor is right here with you, right here in front of you. All you have to do is say, yes, I receive the honor that God has given me. So you, amazing woman, you are honored.